Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a little Mugen 1.1 tutorial. Now, keep in mind this is still the beta version, so if you guys want the beta version, go to electlike.com and the 1.1 Mugen engine will be there. Keep in mind it's still in beta, so it's not going to be, it's not fully 100% uh, yet. But anyway, this is going to be a tutorial about um, recording with the fraps, or actually a problem with fraps, or you know the way the video results come out. So what I'm going to do is show a, like a few seconds of a sample, so you guys can see what will happen. All right, I'm gonna record this for about five seconds. And there we go. Now here is the image. Now you guys notice the file is a uh, video file is upside down. Well, so uh, there is a good way to correct that. Now this may be a fraps issue or a uh, Mugen issue, but I haven't had the chance to uh, actually look at it, so that's something I might have to do later. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So a good way to correct it is actually two one of two two ways I can think of. You can do it with the Windows Movie Maker, or you can do it at um, ABI Demux or yeah that's what I'm just gonna call that but anyway it's actually a free video editor like you know you can cut it filter it, and do, and do all that encoding stuff but uh, if you guys want the link here it is but if you guys can't see it I will provide the link under the video below so you guys can go in and check uh, check it out now what I have here is the 64-bit version because I'm using Windows 7 but I'm not sure what system you guys have, so you know, you guys can just go ahead and have fun with it. Alright, I'm gonna drag the video onto here. You guys can see it. And you notice it's still upside down. Now, what I'm going to do is go to Video Copy. And then what I'm gonna select is a. Uh, MPEG 4.xvid. I mean, sorry. MPEG 4. ASP or actually you know what I'm gonna select ABC and what I'm going to do is a actually filter it then go to vertical flip now you see, here's the preview now if you notice in the preview it's actually a bit brighter than it already than the previous recording so you know you guys can have fun with this so what I'm going to do is go to colors and go to contrast and what I'm going to do is I can either bright like you know make it brighter or make it darker depending on what I want to do with it I could have fun with this all day but you know it's really up to you guys so I'm gonna just make it make it like this and so and press OK and click and you notice the preview is a little bit different now and what I'm going to do is OK then click on close and here's what I'm going to do go on save now this is important guys make sure whatever you guys save is actually under um, type of video format it, whether it's ABI, WMV, MP4 or any other file so what I'm going to do is actually do a sample so let's just name it LOL then I'm gonna do it .mp4 then click on save and right now it's decoding it or encoding I'm sorry And there is successfully finished. Now let's look at the video sample. And you see, it's now in the correct, uh, in the correct. Uh, it's not upside down anymore. So it's in the correct, uh, whatever you want to call it, the correct video way or whatever. Now I can do a. Here's another way with the video Windows Movie Movie Maker. Um, let's see. I'll do this under here. Now, it's the same. now you notice it's the same thing. 
gonna drag this here onto the video. What I'm going to do is a uh, right click video effects, scroll all the way down to rotate 270. Oh, oops, sorry, uh, wrong one. Uh, let's try. You know what? You guys can have fun with it. I'm just gonna try rotate 180, and there it is. And you notice here that it's not. It's a bit different than you're gonna lose a video size, but and a bit quality. But you know what? That's okay as long as the result is there. Then here's what I'm going to do: save it, save it to my desktop. And you notice I have the uh, WMB 1280 by 720. That's actually not available in the default one so I actually had to go get a different file which is a PRX file which is here the uh, WMB high definition widescreen 1280x720.prx now I'm going to provide where to get this under the video below so you guys can go go ahead and download that but here's what you're going to do with the that PRX file Okay, you're gonna have to go to Windows and then go to Program Files. Sorry, sorry. Then go to Program Files x86. Then scroll where you can see Movie Maker 2.6. Then you go to Shared and make sure you have a new uh, profile folder. It's like example. I'm gonna go to Name of Profiles, whatever's. But I'm not gonna do that since I already have one. So what you're gonna do after is drag it, drag that PRX file into this profiles folder. Name it anything you want. I'm, this is just a sample. But since I already have it, I'm not gonna drag it. So that's pretty much it. Then what you're gonna have, what you're gonna have is this WMB HD 1280 x 720. And then what I'm gonna do is click next. And it's going to save the file. Right now it's still encoding it, so it should take about five seconds. While we wait, it shouldn't take long. Alright, the movie is complete. Now we can see the finished product. Now you see, it's going to be a bit different than the one that's compared to this. Yep, it's a bit different, but you know, the result is the same. I mean, you lose some quality, but in the end, you got what you want. It's not upside down anymore, so that's basically it, guys. So if you guys want to want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to me, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Steam. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.